What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question one in the eighth grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. This question is only asking us to find the equation of this line that it's graphed for us down here. So in order to do a problem like this and do it well, we're going to need to know how to translate between graph language and function language. And specifically, we're going to have to find the slope and y-intercept from a graph in order to do that. So let's take these in order. Our slope, you might see it as the change in y, how far up or down we're going over the change in x, left or right. I personally like to think of this as if I'm just looking at a graph, I personally like to think of it as a fraction or a ratio where we have how far up or down we're going in the numerator and how far right we're going in the denominator. So if I'm going to go ahead and do that on this graph, I'm going to just find a couple points where I end up meeting the grid line. So let's go with this one and this one. If I want to go from here to here, that means I'm going up 2 as I go right 3. So my slope, I would write as 2 thirds or 2 over 3. This is a positive 2, which tells me I'm going up 2 as I go right 3. Now at this point, now that I've found my slope, I can go ahead and eliminate choice C and choice D. I know those aren't my answers because they say that my slope is 3 halves. And when I actually write one of these equations, my slope is going to go right here next to my variable. So the next thing I have to find is called the y-intercept. And the idea of the y-intercept It's essentially where my graph, or my line, is going to hit my y-axis, the vertical axis. And where is that line hitting it? Well, I actually already found this point here, which is where this line hits the y-axis, and it hits it at negative 2. So my y-intercept is negative 2, which means that I'm looking for my answer choice that has a slope of 2 thirds and a y-intercept of negative 2, and that's this one. Choice A, y equals 2 thirds x minus 2. So that's how we go from graph language to function language, by finding our slope, counting how far up or down we're going, and how far right we're going, and finding our y-intercept, where this line that we're graphing hits the y-axis.